Has this ever happened to you? You get a text message claiming your debit card may have been used for a fraudulent purchase. The text is urgent and instructs you to text or call a number before more fraudulent charges are posted to your account. You want to stop someone from stealing from you, so it seems like the smart thing to do, right? Wrong. Doing what seems like the right thing in this case is the wrong thing. Why? Because you have been targeted by cyber criminals through social engineering. Social engineering is a manipulation technique used by cyber criminals. It's where they try to trick you into revealing sensitive information like passwords or credit card data. They may urge you to click on a link or download an attachment or app which will spread malware. They may even try to use you to gain access to restricted systems at your workplace. As with most cyber crime, the purpose of social engineering is to steal information or money from individuals or to sabotage businesses by disrupting or corruption data. Social engineering is based on human behavior and emotions, how you think and act. Let's look at the three traits of a social engineering attack that play on your emotions. Trait number one, heightened emotions. You are more likely to make an irrational or risky choice when you're feeling emotional. For example, you may feel afraid or angry if you get a text claiming someone has used your debit card. You may feel excited or curious if you get an email or a pop-up in your browser claiming you've won something. Trait number two, urgency. Most fraudulent texts and emails are worded to sound urgent. Your action is required immediately or else you may lose out or something disastrous could happen. Rushing you into a decision overrides your critical thinking ability, which can lead to the real disaster. Trait number three, trust. If an email comes from what seems like a trusted source, double check the URL of the site. Cyber criminals mimic branded websites and logos, but closer inspection usually reveals the website name is slightly different or the images are low resolution. Now that you know the traits of a social engineering attack, you can be on your guard when and where it happens. A social engineering attack can target you through your email, text message, or automated voice message. Attacks through websites include DNS spoofing, which redirects your browser to malicious sites, or scareware. Scareware uses false warnings that your computer has been infected in order to scare you into purchasing fraudulent cybersecurity software that contains malware. In extreme cases, an attack can be a physical breach of security at a company. Criminals may pose as employees or vendors, or may ask you to hold a door open to a restricted area while they carry something in. If you suspect you are being targeted with a social engineering attack, play it cool and take a moment to ask yourself these security questions. Are my emotions heightened? Did this come from a legitimate person? Or does the email address use characters that mimic others? Would my friend send this? Does the website have an irregular URL, low resolution photos, or contain typos? Does the offer sound too good to be true? Does the attachment or link name seem odd or vague? Can this person prove their identity? Be proactive about your privacy and security on your desktop and mobile devices. Playing it cool when you get urgent messages and never sharing your sensitive information is a good place to start. Now that you recognize social engineering, you can avoid it. Protect yourself from social engineering with Kaspersky's products.